Oh, yes, yes, we do. Yes, we do. We need Black Widow. Yes, we do. We need Black Widow. We are at the time capsule yes, in Seacock, Massachusetts. Time. I'm sorry, what? Yes, we are at the time capsule. Have you ever been to the time capsule, Gloria? Uh, no. It's a little bit small inside, but it's all collector stuff. Video games, comic books, records, posters. They had some computer stuff last time I was here. I actually really love this store. It's been here a little while now and I'm so glad. I stop by it usually once a year. There's lots of collector's places around, yeah. but this one's pretty unique. It has a little bit more of that, like it's owned by one guy. It's yep. off the side of the highway. It's just awesome. Oh, we yeah. have a little bit less pop vinyl. All good things, all good things. <laughs> it is all good things. We were just talking about you. All good things, all good things. You know if it's gonna be a good time with this Batman in the window. That's Freddy Krueger. Sound of Music with Mary Martin. Oh. The lady who played Peter Pan. In that play where it's a lady who dresses up as Peter Pan. La la! It's a lady. I like Mutiny on the Mountain. Ah, uh, there, of course. There's no escape from the pop no I Love these graphic novels, but I've never, like, never gotten into them. Like, even manga. Yeah, like, I was gonna say, no manga? Come on, you wouldn't want an Elvira and horror. I mean, that's pretty awesome. I'm always on the lookout for, like, classic Simpsons memorabilia. Ooh, that's yeah. good stuff. Oops, Certificate of Authenticity. Hamilton, I've heard of this bear before. The bear's name is Hamilton? Yes, but I don't know why he's societally significant. We bought this very toy for Gloria recently because we watched Return of the Jedi. Yep. She was wicked into the Ewoks. And I was like, I guess they don't really have good Ewok figures, huh? Yeah. Sure enough. There's one right there. Yep. Uh, that's probably the best you're gonna get in yeah. terms of Ewok figures. Why would like Luke Wilson be on the cover of of a comic book, I don't understand. I love like the display. I mean, if I could do it with my Super Nintendo games, I would love to yeah. you know, have something like this where you could just see the fronts. You know what, on Etsy, they sell for pretty cheap, these really nice display cases, just like that for yeah. Super Nintendo cartridges. For I could at least like have my favorites. Out, yeah, exactly. You know? I found Disney Infinity, I found Disney oh, Infinity. That is so <laughs> exciting. <laughs> Disney Infinity toys. There's this whole thing from 2015 that we're okay. looking for. Okay. We've been playing this game called Disney Infinity, yep. where you have to buy the stupid toys and put them on the base. Okay. Oh, awesome! That's Wreck-It Ralph. We actually have that at home. Can I do this nutcracker right now? Go gentle on the nutcracker. I'm focused on Disney Infinity. Now, let's see. I see Sully. Do you want to get Sully with me? Oh, yes. Oh, yes, we do. Yes, like, we do. Would you like Black Widow, too? Yes. We need Black Widow. Yes, we do. We need Black Widow. Yes. These are playsets for 3.0, I think. What is that? And you know what? For two bucks? What is that? I think it's worth it. What's Oh, what about this one? My problem is I don't know what's 2.0, what's 3.0, what's 1.0. I'm going but to to my paper life from now on. Characters say 2.0. Oh, 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 we need Black Widow. Well, did we determine which which point oh she is? No, two. No, She's no, two no. point. They have Sega Saturn games, Jonathan. <gasps> well, I, think I don't it's own awesome. Sega Saturn. The Sega Saturn. The Sega Saturn. They have this Holly Mega. Have you heard of this? No. So it's a it's a disc based emulator. So you put in Saturn, PlayStation, Sega CD, whatever you want, and it rips it and you play the ROM. Oh, and this is an official licensed product? Or? Yeah, like it's not there's nothing illegal about it. Cool. You just but you do need to buy this the stuff. Wow, a full inbox Castlevania for only forty eight dollars. Oh repro box. Yeah, a lot of repros nowadays. You just gotta know your stuff. There's actually really nice custom cases for N sixty four for instance. So yeah. they they display nicer. Is it a modern repro? It's a, a Super NES mouse, like for Mario Paint. It was the only game that really used it. I gotta tell you, yeah. Xbox 360 is a great system. I have one, Yeah. I barely ever turn it on. Start collecting for Xbox 360 while they're cheap? Yeah, now's the time. Speak of the devil. Mm -hmm. what? What? These are the ones Disney Infinity 3.0. Oh. Of course, we downloaded it. And there's your, what is this? 2.0? What am I looking at? That Legolas? Yeah, what does he say? What? They're taking the... I've been playing the heck out of my NES top loader on that CRT we bought from. Really? Yes. And I've been playing Mario 3 Mix, the ROM hack, which is an amazing ROM hack. Yeah. And you must play it. <laughs> Gloria. What are you? I used to have such a thing for belt buckles in high school. Do you remember that? Yeah, I kind of do. Tell me more. It was like a weird, slightly emo kid thing to have a belt buckle that said, like, Dan, not my own name. Or, you know, Exxon Mobil. I have uh, a vintage computer, an Atari 800. And I was looking for a cartridge to have one to just test with. 
and they actually have one. It is a word processor software. Which not, is not like, exciting. like any game. Yeah. If it wasn't a word processor, I would buy it. This is literally the exact thing that I would have bought in high school. Rock Mount Research and Alloys, Inc. I'm quirky. <laughs> well, now you're 36. Oh, Gloria, I see you found the Donkey Kong Congas. I still have four sets of those. Did you know they made quite a few games that supported those? Uh, I, I remember learning that and I was quite surprised. Yeah. Like, it wasn't just a one-off kind of accessory. They actually used it for quite a while. Nina, would you get the rhinestone one? That, for, that's for, the one that I actually like. For all time's sake? If I ever wore belts, I just never wore belts. Yeah. There's a DVD section over here. Oh, I thought it was just more manga. And I love the DVDs. Anime DVDs. I can't ever buy a DVD ever again. You know, it just doesn't make any damn sense it anymore. no sense. Do you buy Blu-ray still? Occasionally. If you like the, if you like yep. the film. Look, VeggieTales. I mean, every once in a while I'll buy a DVD because literally the, the media I'm looking for exists no other way. Yeah, yeah. But that's rare. You know what? When we were watching Lord of the Rings, the Blu-rays look way better than, oh, th than sure do. even a, a rip. Or yeah. when we're having internet connectivity problems. Yes. And I'm waiting for my husband to wake up and he's sleeping. And we have to old school <laughs> I, I still have this opinion of like, if a movie is released and it never receives a physical release, was that movie ever really made? It's true, and yet there's an increasing number. A right? movie yeah. that will vanish with a streaming service. Yeah. Preposterous. I mean, just think of if YouTube ever closed its doors, like the, the magnitude of content that would just be zero. Hey, with Red Count, you just go over to Daily Motion. It's all mirrored there. 100% of it. I do still use Daily Motion. Do you? Mostly to find pirated things zero day. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I remember when that was Complete released. Complete sixties. This is like a cheap, cheaper reback. Remember when, when, like you, you would find this sort of thing at like the checkout section of Walmart for yep. a while. Two bucks, a buck. Gumby Christmas for four bucks. Yeah, that's the sort of thing. I bet you you can't torrent that. Or you know what I actually wanted to get recently that I couldn't find? They did a, an incredible Blu-ray of Pee Wee's Playhouse. Mm. Um, remastered the 16 millimeter prints. Looks wow. amazing. Can't find a torrent for it. Anymore. So you're just gonna have to spend the money. Have you ever been like the, the one person that ripped something? I have. Yeah, I have. <laughs> Once or twice, I yeah. have. Quirky yeah. buttons, it's up, it's up there with belt buckles. Clock me. <laughs> You like that little toy, huh? Like, this is the kind of thing I would definitely buy. A Black Ranger one right behind it. <laughs> That's awesome. I love the color. Very, very 90s cover. It's like the most 90s you could get. So they have like this stuff too. I used to I used to do posters a lot, like in dorm rooms and stuff. Yeah. You know you know the way. Yeah. But now that I have that arcade vibe downstairs, I've got like some- to bring it back? I got some of Freddie Williams art up. The Game Genie. One of the most critical oh, you know devices. What? You know what? what? I'm gonna buy it. You should. I'm gonna buy it right now because I've been playing it so much. Yeah. And I can play Contra fairly. I love that device. That is like, that device made my childhood. 25 bucks, I'm in. Vampire Master of Darkness for Sega yeah, Game Gear. Something in a box. Little NES. Something that came from Loot Crate. Fire Hunt. Hmm. Yeah. Remember when this Loot Crate type stuff was very popular? Yeah, it's kind of faded now. Because everybody was like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> You got enough stuff. And they all went like minimal. <laughs> I need a white couch and a ficus. <laughs> the bunny has like a little hop, 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 And then Skeletor goes. <laughs> and he prayed. Oh my God, don't pray. Oh, I don't know. I feel thirsty, baby. But like you are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Some oh, yeah. Things oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Good job. Oh. This was in every game. Like, it would always be. Do you have any, That's like, Game part. Genie memories? Oh, I like, mean. specific ones? It made every game more fun. I used to make up my own codes for mm. Mario 3. Make ones that let you, like, kind of float slowly through the level. And didn't Nintendo dislike it? Yes, they hated it. But they, they tried to sue. They couldn't stop them. Because it doesn't work by itself. It has to have a game in it. So they have to rewrite law. Yeah. Yep. And they never succeeded. So. Yep. I had it for the Super Nintendo 2, and I also had it for the Sega Genesis. You would think there'd be some kind of law that would prevent the altering of products. Now there is, DCMA. Yeah, well, right. You could definitely do that, but at the time, there was nothing. A Revenge of the Sith mug. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. It's pretty great. New Thunder against me! All right, well, so what do we got for VHSs? We got the series Kung Fu. You got all the Planet of the Apes movies. You got yep. Conan. Conan, <laughs> not Conan, but Lost in Space, Led yep. Zeppelin. It was funny, this year at Anime Boston, when I was staffing, we finally got rid of the last VCR that Anime Boston owned. Wow. We, we, it was a Sony one, and we gave it away to somebody. Bummer. That was the end of the VHS era, which used to be all of anime. Oh, it's uh, so you can play Japanese games on your USNES. This is like a USS Starship Enterprise model kit. It just instantly appeals to me. I only built a few models ever in my life. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I would have loved that one. I like a lot of them. 
<laughs> Did you always read it in the Sunday paper? I always read it. I never loved it. Well, once you got through Garfield and Peanuts. Yeah, you, you had to kind of... I would never get down to Mary Worth. That was, a, that was a bridge too far. But Kathy, I'll take. Family Circus? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah.